Hi, I'm Shannon. On this week's episode, I'm in a very special place. I'm at Boulders Beach, which is in Cape Town in South Africa. And the reason it's so special is because it's one of the few places where you can see a large breeding colony of penguins, African penguins. Nestled in a sheltered cove between Simonstown and Cape Point, Boulders has become world famous for its thriving colony of African penguins. Although set in the midst of a residential area, it's one of the few places where this endangered bird can be observed at close range, wandering freely in a protected environment. African penguins are social breeders, and pairs will return to the same nesting site each year where a clutch of two eggs are laid in either burrows dug in guano or scrapes in the sand under boulders or bushes. Incubation is undertaken equally by both parents for about 40 days, where they will take turns going out to sea. Swimming at up to speeds of nearly five miles an hour, they pursue pelagic fish and squid. Not only do they have to contend with predators such as sharks, seals and occasionally orcas, on land they have to avoid mongoose, genet, domestic cats and dogs, but mostly the kelp gull, which is always opportunistic and will not hesitate at getting its beak hooked into anything, especially the chicks. Newborn chicks are covered in a down which is not waterproof. Only after 60 days will they gradually lose their down, which is replaced by a waterproof blue-grey plumage. At this age, they're known as baby blues. When penguins molt, they are unable to forage as their new feathers are not waterproof yet. So they fast over the entire molting period, which for African penguins takes about 20 days. The African penguins' feathers remain waterproof from constant preening, during which an oily substance produced by a gland at the base of the tail is applied to the feathers. With roughly 4 million penguins existing at the beginning of the 19th century, the African penguin is now endangered.
Many organisations are working to halt the decline with measures including monitoring population trends, hand rearing and releasing abandoned chicks, establishing artificial nests and proclaiming marine reserves in which fishing is prohibited. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Join me next week and in the meantime, make sure you head over to shannonwild.com 